Expand your views on diets. Just how many types are there? Stay tuned and you will get a taste for some of the diets that have become popular over the years. Which one is the answer? Check it out. Let's first agree on the definition of the word diet. There are two meanings. One, the kind of food that a person, animal or community habitually eats. Two, a special course of food to which a person restricts themselves either to lose weight or for medical reasons. So in summary, it's what you eat either for weight loss, medical reasons, or what you habitually eat. All the diets listed in this video are a bit overwhelming. This at least gives you some reality on the significant number of diets that are available or have been defined. I think we all want to follow a healthy diet, but what is a healthy diet? This video will just touch the very basics of some of these diets. There is no diet pushed on you, but rather to see the complexity that has occurred around the subject of diets. We will then summarize why there are so many diets out there, and you can then decide which one to follow if you so wish. I would advise that you allow your mind to be expanded here and put aside all your justifications if you have any. The point being is that people have all had some sort of success with various diets. I know we all would like to think that our diet, whatever it is, is an okay diet or a healthy one. Just learn from the exercise. I personally don't agree with many of these listed below, but that is because my limited experience only covers a few of these diets. I can appreciate the wins that people have got from many diets. We can at the very least learn from these diets just in case we would like to experiment with any in the future. Here are 26 diets listed and they are in no particular order. And I'm sure that they are not all diets, but there are enough here to discuss. Number one, Paleolithic diet. The Paleolithic era dates from around 2.5 million to 10,000 years ago. A modern paleo diet includes fruits, vegetables, lean meats, fish, and eggs. Number two, Atkins diet. The Atkins diet restricts carbohydrates while focusing on protein and fats. The Atkins diet has several phases for weight loss and maintenance. Number three, vegetarianism. The practice of not eating meat or fish, especially for moral, religious, or health reasons. Four, very low calorie diet. A very low calorie diet, known as VLCD, is a rapid weight loss program in which calories are severely restricted, often to 800 calories or less per day. Therapeutic lifestyle change. The therapeutic lifestyle change or TLC program is a three part program created by the National Heart, Lung and Bl Blood Institute to improve cholesterol. Six, carnivore diet. Following the diet involves eliminating all plant foods from your diet and exclusively eating meat fish, eggs, and a small amount of low lactose dairy products. Foods to eat include beef, chicken, pork, lamb, turkey, organ meats, salmon, sardines, white fish, and small amounts of heavy cream and hard cheese. Intuitive eating. Intuitive eating is based on physical hunger rather than prescriptions from diet books and experts. Eating should satisfy physical hunger. Number eight, organic food. 
Focus on organic produce, grains, dairy, and protein. Number nine, plant-based diet. Plant-based eating patterns focus on foods primarily from plants. This includes not only fruits and vegetables, but also nuts, seeds, oils, whole grains, legumes, and beans. 10. Low-fat diet. A low-fat diet is one that restricts fat, and often saturated fat, and cholesterol as well. Low-fat diets are intended to reduce the occurrence of conditions such as heart disease and obesity. Number 11. General dieting. Restrict oneself to small amounts or special kinds of food in order to lose weight. 12. Raw foodism. A raw food diet involves eating mainly unprocessed, whole, plant-based foods. It can help with weight loss and has other benefits as well. 13. Anti-inflammatory diet. Favors fruits and vegetables, foods containing omega-3 fatty acids, whole grains, lean protein, healthful fats, and spices. It discourages or limits the consumption of processed foods, red meats, and alcohol. The anti-inflammatory diet is not a special regimen, but rather a style of eating. 14. Intermittent fasting involves switching between fasting and eating on a regular schedule. 15. Veganism a vegan diet is based on plants such as vegetables, grains, nuts and fruits and foods made from plants. Vegans do not eat foods that come from animals. 16. Zone diet. This focuses on eating a specific ratio of macronutrients to combat inflammation. 17. Potato diet. On the potato diet, you eat only plain potatoes for three to five days. It's claimed to aid weight loss, restore gut health, and boost immunity. 18. Pescatarians. A person eats a primarily vegetarian diet with the addition of fish and other seafood. Eating a diet consisting mainly of plant-based foods has a variety of health benefits which the addition of fish and fish products may enhance. 19. Ketogenic diet. The ketogenic diet involves consuming a very low amount of carbohydrates and replacing them with fat to help your body burn fat for energy. 20. Calorie restriction. Calorie restriction is a dietary regimen that reduces the energy intake from foods and beverages without incurring malnutrition. 21. DASH diet. The DASH diet focuses on vegetables, fruits, and whole grains. It includes fat-free or low-fat dairy products, fish, poultry, beans, and nuts. 22. Blood type diet. The blood type diet makes recommendations based solely on your blood type. So if you have a chronic condition, say diabetes, you may be told to eat high protein, while another person with diabetes may have to avoid dairy or chicken. 23. Gluten-free diet. A gluten-free diet is an eating plan that excludes foods containing gluten. 24. Brat diet. The BRAT diet, which stands for bananas, rice, applesauce, toast, was once a staple of most pediatricians' recommendations for children with an upset stomach. 25. Flexitarian's diet. The flexitarian diet is a style of eating that encourages eating mostly plant-based foods while allowing meat and other animal products. 26. SAD diet. 
I like to finish on this one as it is the don't go there diet. SAD stands for standard American diet. Eat what you want. It sounds great, but the reality is it promotes the intake of processed foods. Talking from experience, it is okay to eat anything when you are younger, but you start to recognize the effects later, or at least I did. The standard American diet, SAD, is a modern dietary pattern afflicting American adults and children across the United States with long-term damaging health consequences. By definition, the standard American diet consists of ultra-processed foods, added sugar, fat, and sodium. Oh, and you don't have to live in America to eat it because junk food seems to be available almost everywhere. Make a comment if we have missed any. I am sure that we have. About diets, one size diet does not fit all. It's your journey and it's your diet. Just know the facts, how the food affects you. There is no one size fits all. This statement is not made to be nice to all people. It is a reality of life. This is based on lots of research and my own experience. The point is, you will find people not only just surviving, but benefiting from various diets. I'm not promoting any particular diet. And for this reason, I will give a few success headlines from a few diets. Number one, carnivore. Males tend to get some amazing results on the carnivore diet, along with rapid weight loss, mental clarity, better moods and muscle gain. Carnivore men see increases in testosterone, libido, and an overall sense of well-being. Number two, plant-based diet. From cheese-loving vegetarian with sky-high blood pressure to whole food, plant-based and healthy. Number three, potato diet. I wasn't trying to lose weight, but I lost 21 pounds even though I was eating 2,200 calories of potatoes a day. My cholesterol went down 67 points, my blood sugar came down, and all the other blood chemistry, the iron, the calcium, the protein, all of those either stayed the same or got better. Number four, paleo diet. When I did Weight Watchers in the past, it took me one year to lose 25 pounds in doing the paleo diet plus exercising, I lost 50 pounds in six months. I have never felt better in my entire life. I have energy that I never thought I could ever have. There are people that have survived on these diets for very long periods of time. This does not mean that you can as well. It depends on your makeup and what your body needs. Only you will be able to know if these diets are good or bad by trying them. You do need to consider the following. Do you have any ailments or current health issues? Changing a diet immediately can cause what looks like illness or disease, but it would just be your body adjusting. I'm not in a position to advise which diet is for you. I will, however, state that the SAD diet should be changed, as this is not a healthy diet. If you are very young, then you may disagree with me, but in my experience, the processed food caught up with me and I had to make some adjustments to handle the high acid levels that the SAD diet gave me. It was a great learning curve for me to adjust my diet accordingly. I would advise that you do the same. I found out that I was not sick and that I did not suffer from any disease. It was just my body trying to get rid of the toxins and poisons that I was feeding it. As soon as I got onto a less processed food diet, then I felt much better. So go ahead and experiment with anything other than the SAD diet. I think the name says it all. If you appreciated this video, then please click the subscribe button for more similar content on this channel. I wish you well in selecting a healthier diet 
to help you on your life's path. Wishing you happy eating and better health. Best regards, lots of healing.